Hello everybody, welcome to the video on interview questions and answers for college admission. Whether you are a prospective postgraduate student looking to secure a coveted spot in your desired course or an undergraduate student curious about the admission process, this video is going to be useful to both of you. See, as all of us know, personal interviews play a very important role in the selection process for many courses and institutions. The purpose is to evaluate a candidate's suitability with the chosen course and institute. The three things that the interviewer seek to understand here are, number one, if the expectations of the candidate align with the objective of the course or not. Number two, if the candidate possesses the motivation and the capability to excel or not. And lastly, if the candidate is a cultural fit to the institute and the course or not. So see, now armed with this understanding about the purpose of these interviews, you can be better prepared to face them more effectively. In today's video, we are going to discuss nine most important and most common questions that are asked at these interviews. I'll try to guide you with the right approach to answer each question and also provide you a sample answer, making this video a valuable resource for anyone who is seeking admission in the courses. Get yourself a notepad and a pen to jot down important insights and make sure that you watch it until the end so that you don't miss out on any valuable information. So ready? Fantastic. Let's begin. Question number one. Tell us something about yourself. The first question asked at almost every interview. The purpose is to initiate the conversation. I personally call this question the most significant question of any interview because it has the potential to let you set the tone for the complete interview, provided you are prepared. For unprepared candidates, it can be a big stumbling block. Let me tell you why. If you are not prepared to answer this question, one of the two things may happen. First, you may land up talking about your life history containing all the irrelevant information. Or you may not have sufficient things to say. And in either of these cases, you lose a golden opportunity to make a strong first impression. So how to answer this question effectively? The key is go beyond what's already written in your resume. This can include things like any internships, innovative projects, inspirational mentors, extracurricular activities you do, etc. Basically, anything that would provoke the interviewer's curiosity and lead to more related questions. For example, you can say something like, My name is Shipra Singh. I graduated in bioinformatics and during my third year, I assisted my professor in researching a rare genetic disorder. My role started with assisting her in collecting the data from various sources and then help with the interpretation of this data using various tools and algorithms. This research contributed to the better understanding of the gene, its mutations and impact on the pathways. Fitness is my passion and over the last two years, I've explored many new styles of swimming. This has helped me not just to improve my physical fitness, but gain a better control over my breath also, leading to a more focused mind. I am enthusiastic about data analysis that is specially associated with genetics. So you see how a well thought of answer that discusses your project, passion and enthusiasm allows you to take the focus of the interview on the areas you are well prepared to discuss. See, as you must be realizing already, this kind of an answer won't occur to you on the spot. So think about this question well in advance. Prepare your answer and rehearse it well so that you can deliver it flawlessly. And just one more thing, try not to go beyond 90 seconds. Keep it short, sweet and to the point. Moving on to our question number two. Why do you want to study this particular subject? Now see, choosing any academic course is a very significant decision as it impacts the shape of your career. But not all students make this decision very consciously. Through this question, the interviewer is actually trying to gauge your motivation and see how well your choices and your aspirations align. Before we move on to see the sample answer, here are some tips to help you answer this question effectively. The number one thing you have to do is be genuine while answering. Your enthusiasm and interest shines through your eyes. Number two, connect everything to your goals. Elaborate how you developed interest in this subject and how this course will propel you towards your 
career goals. Number three, exhibit awareness. Talk about some specific topics, recent developments or research that has captured your attention. And lastly, but most important, showcase independence of choice at all costs. Avoid saying that you are choosing the subject because of your family's expectations. It is okay to discuss and suggest, take suggestions, but the ultimate decision has to be yours. A sample answer to this question can be something like, Biology and computers have always fascinated me and I was seeking a way to integrate the two in my career. Bioinformatics gives me an opportunity to combine these two interests and use my analytical skills to build a career in this domain. Witnessing my professor's research on a rare genetic disorder last year has further fueled my interest in this domain. My goal is to be a geneticist and contribute to the study of genes, making a positive impact on health science. This course gives me an opportunity I need to enhance my skills and advance towards my career goals. So see how this kind of a well thought of answer puts you one step ahead in the interview. Moving on to question number three. Why do you want to study in this college? Another important and commonly asked question. Now see, there are a lot of factors that a student considers before taking admission to any college. And even the interviewers are aware of this. So once again, it's a time to showcase your logical mindset and the sincerity while answering the question. Some of the factors that we commonly consider before taking admission to any college are the availability of specialization, then reputation and accreditation, expertise of the faculty, teaching methodology and curriculum, extracurricular activities that are available there, internship and job placement opportunities, reviews from other students, location, financial considerations, accommodation and campus facilities available there. So while explaining why you want to study at that particular college, be genuine and talk about the factors you considered. A genuine answer would demonstrate your thoughtfulness. Question number four, what do you want this course to give you? Looks tricky? Let's try to simplify it. So first of all, notice that the question is very specific. Your answer should also be precise. Avoid vague answers like to broaden my horizon, to gain a deeper understanding, to reach my full potential, etc, etc. After spending two to three precious years of life with a college, is that all you would want from it? I mean, let's talk more precisely. And you can do that by spending some time on researching and thinking about the offerings of the college. Let me give you a systematic approach. Begin by thoroughly researching the program you are applying to. Find out about its goals, features, expectations, etc. Now, have realistic expectations. See how these offerings align with your goals. It's important to be realistic in your expectations as I said here. And finally, articulate your goals. This includes both personal and professional growth. A sample answer can be something like, I've examined the program brochure in detail. I see that in addition to the theoretical knowledge, the course offers a practical knowledge of XYZ through industry collaborations. This practical training has specially attracted me as I think it will also offer me an opportunity to meet the seasoned professionals from the industry. In addition to this, I see that the program has a partnership with an Australian university, which offers the top performing students to get engaged in a research project with their professors. I aspire to be a leader in XYZ industry and working on these research projects can really help me in paving a way for me. If selected, I'm committed to make the best of these two years at this college so that I can absorb all this knowledge and become eligible for this research project also. So see, this is quite a precise answer of why I want to be here. And this kind of an answer definitely separates you from the crowd. Question number five, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Another question that's almost always asked at every interview. Your answer to this question again demonstrates your self-awareness and genuineness. Two qualities that are absolutely essential to do well in life and career. Let's deal with the strengths part first. Before we see a sample answer, let me give you some tips to get started. And the first and the most important thing is provide strengths that are relevant to your course. 
and then back them up with examples to justify that whatever you are saying is correct. Avoid giving very general strengths that everyone else would also provide. For example, I'm very hardworking. Uh, I give 100% to everything I do. I mean, everyone else also would say such things. Tell something better. A sample answer to this question can be something like, research and effective communication skill is my biggest strength. It has helped me lead various projects at my college, including the publication of annual magazine of our department, for which I needed to work and collaborate with people from various departments. So you see how a well thought of answer can separate you from everybody else in the crowd and help you stand out. Okay, now coming to the weaknesses part of the question. Here are also some tips before we see a sample answer. And the most important thing I've got to say here is always acknowledge your weaknesses. All of us are human beings here and it is okay for every human being to have some weaknesses. But don't offer a weakness that will jeopardize your selection. And finally, discuss the actions you are taking to improve it. Here's a sample answer that can help you create your own answer also. One weakness that I'm trying to actively improve upon is my ability to manage my time. I've noticed that I usually have a lot of things on my to-do list, but I struggle to complete all the tasks on time. To improve it, I have learned the importance of prioritization. I tackle the most important tasks first, which prevents them from becoming urgent. I've also started dealing with the most challenging tasks in the morning. This approach keeps my mind clear throughout the day. It is also important to understand here that a few minor tasks that are not very important can be dealt with the next day without much stress to the mind because it is also important to be kind to yourself. So see, again, a very well thought of answer which showcases that you have given it a thought before saying anything. Moving on to question number six now. How would your professors describe you? Now see, the most important thing while answering this question is to stay balanced and concise. An effective way to answer this question is to repeat formal remarks, rewards or recognition you have received from your college or professors recently. So before you go to the interview, think about such things. Have some examples to back you up and carry certain certificates that prove it, if it is possible. For example, you can say something like, during a recent class presentation activity, I had the honor of a special mention from my professors for the best researched content. I also regularly represent my college at paper presentation competitions hosted by various institutes. So I think my professors would repeat the remark of being a confident presenter with effective communication and research skills here. See, what knowing these questions in advance does is, it gives you a chance to reflect on your achievements and recognition and prepare yourself to give a structured answer to this type of a question and many more questions in fact. Question number seven, what are your long-term and short-term goals? So first of all, let's make our understanding of short-term and long-term goals clear. Short-term goals are your goals for next one to three years, while your long-term goals extend beyond five years. Suppose you want to pursue a two years PG course. Your short-term goal would be to absorb all the knowledge and the skills the course has to give you. And your long-term goal would revolve around putting this knowledge and the skills you have gained to advance your career. In some cases, the interviews might ask you, where do you see yourself five years down the line? The approach to answering this question would also be similar. To answer this question effectively, you can say something like, well, five years is a very long span of time and predicting specifically where I would reach in these five years can be challenging. My aim is to reach a position that aligns with my aspirations. Starting now, my focus would be on gaining the required skills and knowledge to become a professional suitable for such a role. Hopefully, I'll progress towards my goal or reach somewhere closer to it by then. See, this kind of an answer demonstrates your determination and is more realistic. It shows you think of the future and also understand the practicalities of career development. Question number eight, how do you intend to spend your time at college? Now see, while answering this question, it's essential that you align all your activities at college to your professional and personal growth. And finally, connect them to your long-term goals. Here are three things that can help you in answering this question. The first is 
focus on academic excellence. Your purpose of taking admission in this course is to gain knowledge and acquire the skills. So keep the focus of your answer on academics and working closely with the professors there. In addition to the professional growth, personal growth is also very important. Because to be at a certain position, you need to become the person who deserves that position. So include personal growth here also in your answer. Then you can also talk about utilizing college facilities, time management, etc. A sample answer to this question can be something like, my primary objective of taking up this course is to gain the knowledge and the skills to be one of the best professionals in the field of XYZ. So my main focus during these years will be on gaining the academic excellence and the skills required to be there. For this, I plan to work closely with my professors so that I can make the best use of their knowledge and wisdom while engaging myself in all the project activities wholeheartedly. I also recognize the importance of being physically fit to support me work for long hours of productive work. I plan to use the impressive indoor and outdoor facilities this college provides to the students. Effective time management will be a key in achieving all this. I am committed to prioritize my activities and manage my schedule in a way that I can devote time to all of these things. So you see, this type of an answer clearly conveys your priorities, your plan of action and your commitment towards your goals. And now finally moving on to the last question for today's video. What value can you add to the college? Now see, offering a compelling answer to this question will lead you to personalize it. Because the value each individual can offer may vary. Here's a systematic exercise to help you develop an answer for yourself. So begin by identifying your own strengths. Start by making a list of all your strengths. Then research the college and find out what's important to them. You can find this information in their mission, values, culture, etc. Then align your strengths with the college values. For this, compare the two lists that you have prepared. Your strengths that meet the college values are the ones you have to talk about. And finally, back your answer up with some examples. For example, if the college focuses on being one of the best in sports and you are good at some sport, your answer can be something like, beyond my academic pursuit, I have a deep passion for playing tennis. My research about this college revealed its strong commitment to overall development of the students. And the college even participates in a lot of sports competitions, including tennis. Going a bit into the past, I have won various awards in tennis for my school and college. I am eager to represent this college also at such competitions and add to its medals tally. The important thing to understand here is every college has different priorities. So you will have to customize your answer accordingly. So friends, with this we come to the end of this video. And I sincerely hope that whatever we have discussed here will help you in cracking your college admission interview. If you have found it useful, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also. To stay updated with more such releases from Career Ride, subscribe the channel now. I'll be back to you very soon with a new video. Till then, bye bye and take care.